Um, just um, from I was with um, just with the family um, at my um, uh, dad's hotel. Um, just had the family there, and um, it was just sort of a quiet thing. And yeah, uh, when the name came out, it was pretty exciting. But um, yeah. Were you worried? Uh, um, yeah, I was. I was pretty nervous, um, yeah. as, as most boys were. Yeah. But um, uh, not not worried. But um, yeah, it was a sort of uh, interesting process, and uh, you, you can get get really caught up in it, or you can you can just let it go, and you, you can't really control it. So yeah. I just sort of just went with it, and what happened happened. So yeah. I take it you would have talked to Porch beforehand at some stage. Yeah, yeah, I met met with Jeff earlier earlier in the year and um, had a, had an interview and yep. yeah, uh, um, I don't know he, he said any promises do they? Did nah, you get any not at all. Not at all. They they just go through sort of the same process with um with all the boys that they they interview and um yeah they don't they don't really give much away. Yeah. But um yeah uh, um he said that he'd been watching me and. And I, yeah, I got a good good indication, but nothing that they'd pick, that they'd pick me up or anything like that. So. Mitch, I think Ken Hinckley said last night. Yep. You know, you're a big tall lad, and he said you got such a great physique. You know, you could play round one. Is that something you look to do? Is play a bit of semi footy next year? Yeah, well, I'd, I'd, my goal next year is just over the pre season to work really hard and and um, make a good impression on the coaches and the t and the, the boys. And um, I mean, if um, if I do all the right things and and work hard, and I guess um, Ken thinks I deserve an opportunity. Then, and then that's great. But if um, I need to continue to develop and um, and play for the um, the reserves, that's that's fine as well. And I just want to, yeah, make a good impression and and work hard and just develop my footy in the first year. And what comes what is what what comes. So I can't really do much too much, too much about that. You're a local boy. Yeah. How much did it help? You know, and, and family and all that kind of thing. How good is it to be able to stay? You know? Yeah. Yeah, really excited. Um, I, I, obviously, I didn't really mind if I just wanted to get drafted, but um, to stay in Adelaide is, is just an absolute dream, and um, couldn't have asked for anything better, really. Yeah. Do you have much contact with um, Maddie Rendell? Um, yeah, Maddie. Maddie um, has been good support, um, and he's always sort of looking at my eye, just making sure I'm doing anything right. And um, he's been really good this year, and um, he's given me some good tips for. The way to go about it, and um, yeah, it's been a real good help to be honest. Yeah. Did you think you were a chance to go to Collingwood at all? Ah, uh, no, I didn't think. Um, considering they um, had the two early picks and the one late one, I didn't think I'd get there. But um, I, I, I didn't really talk to him, talk to them at all. So yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't think that was going to happen. Have you thought much about the fact that North Adelaide? Well, that's pretty well a close chapter now, isn't it? The mm. new system. Yeah. Well, um, Played at North for the last six years, and um, uh, to be moving over to the Ma possibly the Maggies in next year, and um, yeah, it, it, it doesn't bother me at all. Um, I think the structure with the reserves is, is great, um, and yeah, um, North's been really good, and we've had a really good relationship. But um, yeah, just move on and um, look forward to it, I guess. Yeah. You've been a power supporter, or were you yeah. a pro supporter? No, nah, I've always been a Port man of my whole life, which is um, again just adds to the whole dream come true sort of thing. And I went to the 04 grand final, and yeah, my whole life supported the power, so couldn't have couldn't have asked for much better, really. Must be exciting time as well, yeah. given that you would have watched them last uh, this year. Yeah, certainly. When considering how well we went last year and um, how well the club's going and the direction it's going in, um, just um, really exciting and to be part of it. Um, yeah, couldn't have, uh, as I said, couldn't have asked for much better, really. Who have been the biggest influences on your career? Um, yeah, obviously uh, over the journey, I've had some really good coaches, um, and I think uh, uh, probably one um, one that comes to mind straight away is Daryl Hart, um, who coached me in under 16s um, SA team, and uh, he's a pretty hard guy and pushed me really hard. And um, whenever someone sort of asks me that, always he always springs to mind and. Um, yeah, he's a really, really good coach for me and always keep in touch with him now, so yeah, probably him. What about um, in terms of a player, if people would have asked you what kind of the fans out there, what kind of player are you? Oh yeah, I, I just um, I'm, I try to be a bit, bit versatile and 
um, play play in the ruck and play up forward, um, and um, just as a, as a key forward. So yeah, those two positions is where I suit. But um, I guess these days in the modern game, you just need to be play need to be able to play as many positions as you can. So hopefully develop over you know with my time at Port and. Um, and see where I go, but yeah, those those two are positions where I've played all my junior footy yet. So with that versatility, you mm. still look at someone like um, West Off this year, mm. in, in yeah. the way that he goes down. Yeah, well, West is a, a super player and can play anywhere, um, plays for the midfield and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, I always admired the way he went about it. And um, yeah, uh, to be half the player he was, be super. But um, yeah, something like that um, to be able to play anywhere on the ground would be great. So yeah. Who called you last night from the club? Who called you? Um, well, straight away, um, uh, Marcus Drum got in touch with me, and then um, Ken called me about 20 minutes after my name was read out, and that was that was uh, a bit weird. Was sort yeah. of all the, and all the players, all the boys were texting me and saying welcome to the club, and then um, Brad Ebert gave me a call. Um, so yeah, it was a bit surreal, um, but um, yeah, it just just. Um, Took it as it came, and yeah, it was great. Really enjoyed it. What did Ken say? Um, Ken just said like he he um uh, obviously welcome to the club, and uh, he watched me play during the year, and looking forward to working with me, and um, basically said just make sure you got your running shoes for Dubai, and, um, <laughs> and to uh and to just look look to hard work hard and make a good impression early, and yeah, it's just had a good conversation, so.